Okay, so I've been putting this off for quite some time, kind of going back and forth between how I'm going to do it, but I need to make my brewing area a little bit better. As you can see, pretty much just a sink, cabinet, and just a big old empty wall that goes up about 10 feet. So what I basically want to do is just put a shelf across the top, have some winch type stuff for lifting the basket out of the G70 grandfather, and I want to put in some sort of ventilation, which will involve punching a hole in the wall and make it a mess of my house. Let's see how this goes. Let's go. Party time, party time, party time brews. This song ain't no good, but we got nothing to lose. We got the 10-foot board. This will probably come back to bite me in the future, but for now, I'm just going to assemble it and put it up on the wall. If I want to paint it, it's going to be a hell of a lot trickier to paint once it's up on the wall, but I want me a shelf, so let's assemble. One down. Yep, basically just building a box. Two foot by 10 foot, a few braces in the middle, two by fours are overkill, but it will hold sturdy. Basically 27 inches from the roof is what I chose, or 27 and a half inches, and that's more or less so I can stand kegs up on the shelves. Hoping there's no electrical or anything there, but you never know. Hit a stud, good job, me. And now for the mess of me trying to put this up alone with only having that little brace there. The ladder ended up being a pretty good height, made it pretty easy, except for the fact that it was almost locked into place once I put the shelf on the wall. If you're going for a floating shelf, it may almost work kind of just like that. Problem is, I want to have a lot of weight on there, or at least some weight on there. Each keg is, I don't know, a few pounds. And if I have 30 kegs on there, that's a lot of a few pounds. So yeah, I'm going to put a brace coming down the side, probably just line it up with the side of the sink there. And I can put another little shelf on the side of the sink there too, to make up for extra wood in the way. Okay, so basically did the same thing as I did for shelf up top, but I'm just making a, I made a quick square, just two foot by two foot. You can figure that out. Two foot, where my sink is, right at the edge. So basically you're gonna have it across the side there and it'll give me some space to work, space to put things to dry. Probably won't drip properly, but it'll give me room, give me something to do. And this one was pretty straightforward. I leveled it out and screwed the legs on the box thingy. Then put on the boards. So I threw the frame up for the little bit of countertop and then I just went and rough cut some lumber here. I just had some old deck wood sitting around. You can see it's still wet from being outside. But I just basically give that quick cut apart, gave it about an inch overhang on one side. And that's mostly just in case I want to bevel it at the bottom or route it out here and make it overhang the sink a bit so maybe I could get a little bit of drainage if I threw some caulking down the connections, but either way, for now, that should work pretty good, and I'll have a nice working space. And this video is brought to you by the first snow of the year. It's snowing. Basically, we have our brewing system here, and if you look at it, this line's pretty much straight up with the outside edge here, so I wanna figure out a way to get my winch or pulley or whatever just right onto the edge here. Okay, so I figured out a way I'm gonna do it for the hoist. I'm just gonna use some of this stuff like they use in the garage doors. So basically just a little bit coming down and then a bar across and another bar to support it. So that should work fine. Should is the key word. Let's find out. And I don't really know why I didn't notice it right away, but I could have just bolted the angle iron directly to the two by four. Didn't really need the extenders. It made it easier to hook up, but it's not necessary. I figured it out without that and eventually got rid of those little arms hanging down. So we got it hooked up. Let's see if I fail, see if there's enough play to do it, or if I'll be returning this thing. So that is pretty good, has lots of play. It's really good for doing it overall, but definitely overkill for this size. Hoist hooked up, let's throw the top on. Then I cut up a rotten board that was sitting around outside for the shelf. Realized quickly that it wasn't a full eight feet. Ended up trimming it a little bit at the end and then putting a fresh piece of plywood on to finish the shelf. Okay, so the next thing we're doing is getting the ventilation going. First thing I did was found the studs, which you could tell from where we screwed the wall piece in. I drew a circle here. And then in the center of the circle, I drilled the hole clean outside of my house. And since I'm using an eight inch vent, you can't really buy a nice hole saw for an eight inch vent. Well you can, but it's probably a little more expensive. So I just used my cheap old oscillating tool thing and cut the drywall out here. Eventually moved to the outside of the house. From there, I basically measured a few dots and then used the vent as a template to draw a better circle around it. 
Then I use the angle grinder to cut the siding because it makes a lot cleaner cut than if I use an oscillating tool or a reciprocating saw. Next up, I took the Olfa knife and cut away the Tyvek and the foam. I have about two inches of foam before I get to the plywood. And from there, I just use the reciprocating saw to trim out the plywood and fit in the vent. And once that vent's fit in there and everything's finalized, don't forget to caulk on the outside. I used a bunch of silicone caulking for it. And since I didn't really take any footage of it, here's a zoom in, that's crappy, of what I did. As you can see, I have a fan hooked up there. In the foreground here, you'll see I'm working on new shelving. Basically wanted to put three shelves up. You can see kind of down near the back, near my crack, that there's a frame of a shelf already up there. It's a 2x2. Two two. I have a full 2x4 for that one because I wanted to hold the glycol chiller. The rest of them I just ripped 2x4s to save some wood and just for two more shelves, sand their space basically so I can have two layers of Cambro containers on each shelf. Okay, so this is coming along. We got some good background noise because the fan's kind of going up there in the corner. Got a brew on the go here, but just thought I'd basically show you the shelves so far. So basically I got a sturdy shelf there and a little bit thinner shelves. This one here, I was able to basically stand my son on it as is. So that'll hold at least 50 pounds on the corner. So probably good for hundred pounds or more on the whole thing. These ones wouldn't quite trust. I'm gonna put the brace coming basically down from the top all the way down on the corners there. And then that'll give it a little more support for the hoist, which is overkill and I'm not sure if I'm a fan yet, but uh, we'll see. This is definitely keeping the steam out. I just moved it a little bit. Probably shouldn't have it under this. This will eventually condensate. So, but yeah, it's keeping the garage from becoming all foggy. If you were doing it on your own and didn't want to have a window open, then you'd also have to have an intake there because that is putting a lot of negative pressure on the house when the window's closed. Okay, so since my filming petered out at the end of the build, I might as well show you how I finished it off. So over here, ended up putting the brace in. As you'll see at the top of the brace is my kind of horrible vent hood or condensing hood. It's not really condensing hood, it's pretty much a vent hood, which I basically just drilled a hole in the side of it, put the vent out, as you can see. Wow, goes in there, pretty good. But basically just built a kind of one inch frame around the inside and then bolted, I believe three eight inch plywood to the edge. I have the hoist kind of finished up, only ended up putting it tight to the edge there. And the shelving, got the brace on it like I mentioned and it holds pretty well, nice and sturdy. But as you can see, lots of space for junk coming up there. And another thing I added the other day was here for about 30 bucks on Amazon, you can get a glass rinser. Comes in fairly handy. I didn't really have space on the edge of the sink to put it, so I just built this little side panel, which is something I kind of planned on doing. Anyway, the vent hood works pretty well to keep the condensation out of the house, but it does condensate quite a bit on the edge of the vent, so. I may want to try to insulate the edge of the vent a little bit more or maybe put some sort of drip trap or even even drill a hole in the bottom of the pipe there in order to get it to drip clean. Other things I'd do different, I thought I'd need a little more space here for the glycol chiller, but I could, I could have built that shelf down a bit more and give myself some more space, but that'll give me a lot of room to lift up, play with the pumps if I need to, and that sort of thing. Another thing I did was I took the old welder plug out and I just put a clean plug in there for the grandfathers which is nice and easy soon hopefully i will wire another 220 or 240 volt plug in because i'd like to be able to use both of them at the same time and last thing i guess i do if i could change it would be i'm going to try to maybe move my ro filter out of the way or put a box around it just to make it a little cleaner but overall with the build i'm pretty happy it makes it a lot easier on brew day everything's nice and close i just put a table kind of right in front of it there and everything's nice and set there so yeah, my brew days are going to be a lot cleaner, a lot better right now, and I have a little more storage for it. So hopefully that'll up my efficiency, maybe take a little less time to do things. And most of all, I'll be able to brew inside whenever I want because I won't worry as much about the condensation. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or definitely have any suggestions, feel free to comment on the comments below. Uh, if you're interested in seeing some more videos, why not click one of the ones that pops up, I don't know, here somewhere probably takes up some of my face and don't forget to subscribe anyway thanks a lot for watching cheers